This video will explain the concept of price elasticity of demand. Um, it will show you how to calculate price elasticity of demand and it will show you the different ranges of price elasticity of demand. So what exactly is price elasticity of demand? Basically, price elasticity of demand is, is a way of measuring how sensitive quantity demanded is to a change in price. It is defined as the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price along a given demand curve. The concept of elasticity is to see how much a change in price would affect quantity demanded, how sensitive quantity demanded is to changes in price. Price elasticity of demand is calculated using this formula. Percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. Now the symbols that we use to represent this formula is um, percentage delta, which is the symbol for change, quantity demanded. So this means percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. Now let's see how it's calculated. Assume, for example, we're looking at a product. When the price was $1, the consumers bought 35 units. When the price rose to $2, consumers, the quantity demanded, decreased from 35 to 20 units. So how do we calculate price elasticity of demand? As we mentioned, the formula is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. Let's calculate the top part of the formula, percentage change in quantity demanded. Basically, any percentage change would be new minus old divided by old times 100. So you would get the new quantity, which is 20, divided by the, sorry, minus the old quantity, which is 35, and then divided by the old quantity, which is 35. So 20 minus 35 divided by 35 times 100 will give you minus 43%. Here, the minus means that the quantity demanded decreased. The negative means that there has been a decrease. What about the percentage change in price? Well, basically, you would get new minus old divided by old. 2, which is the new price, minus 1, which is the old price, divided by 1, which is the old price, times 100. This would give you positive 100%. That means that price rose. Now, let's divide the percentage change in quantity by the percentage change in price. That would be negative 43 divided by 100, which would give you negative 0.43. Now, negative means that the two variables that you are looking at here, the variables are quantity demanded and price, move in opposite directions. When one increases, the other decreases. We know that that's the case on the demand curve. Whenever price rises, quantity demanded falls, and whenever price falls, quantity demanded rises. So, Economists would normally just ignore the negative because we can already assume that all price elasticity of demand values would be negative and just look at that number. So remember that while the mathematical value of um, elasticity, price elasticity of demand in this example, is negative 0.43, economists would only look at the absolute value. They would ignore the negative sign and say that in this example, price elasticity of demand is equal to just 0.43. Now you're about to find out that price elasticity of demand can take any value between zero all the way to infinity. Remember, I'm talking about the absolute value. We're ignoring the negative sign. So how do economists, if it has such a wide range from zero all the way to infinity, how do economists categorize products according to their price elasticity of demand. Let's start by taking a look at a situation where the price elasticity of demand is equal to zero. In this situation, economists would say that this product has perfectly inelastic demand. The quantity demanded is fixed. It does not respond whatsoever to changes in price. The response or the sensitivity of quantity demanded to changes in price is zero, which is essentially what the price elasticity of demand measures. Percentage change in quantity is always zero. Now, some people might say that this is a hypothetical or an extreme scenario, but if you think about it, really it's not. 
if I'm a diabetic and I need a specific quantity of insulin um, per day or per week or per month, regardless of the price, I will still buy that quantity. If the price rises, I will still buy the same quantity. If the price falls, that's not going to encourage me to buy more. I'm still going to buy the same quantity. Here, economists would say this product has perfectly inelastic demand. Price elasticity of demand is equal to zero. Now, the demand curve looks like a vertical straight line. If you draw any level of price, regardless of price changing, falling or rising, you will find that quantity demanded is fixed. It does not change. This is a case where the product has perfectly inelastic demand. Now, the other extreme case is when you have a horizontal demand curve. In this case, economists would say that this product has perfectly elastic demand. In this case, when you calculate price elasticity of demand, it will equal infinity. And this is because the percentage change in price is zero. When the denominator in the formula is zero, anything divided by zero is equal to infinity. Now, this can also sometimes be called a hypothetical scenario. In this case, the whole idea is that quantity demanded is super hypersensitive to changes in price. In fact, it is so sensitive that it responds infinitely to changes in price. The price here in this case is fixed. And if the price changes whatsoever, rises or falls, quantity demanded will drop completely to zero or rise completely to infinity. That's how sensitive um, the quantity demanded is to changes in price. Now, this might appear like a hypothetical scenario. There aren't that many examples, but we will see a demand curve that looks like this later on in microeconomics. So we've seen two uh, sort of extreme or hypothetical scenarios. Let's have a look at um, a more sort of realistic scenario. When the price elasticity of demand, when it falls between zero, but it's less than one, we say that this product has price inelastic demand. This happens when the percentage change in quantity demanded is smaller or less than the percentage change in price. In that case, you will have a rather steep demand curve. The demand curve is quite steep and the absolute value of, percent of price elasticity of demand will be less than 1. Uh, this is a situation where demand is price inelastic. Now, what about the situation where price elasticity of demand is less than infinity, so it's not perfectly elastic, but it's still greater than 1? Here, economists would say that this product has price elastic demand. The absolute value of price elasticity of demand will be greater than 1, and the demand curve would be relatively flat. So it's not quite steep, but it's also not completely horizontal. This is what the demand curve would generally look like. And this would happen when the percentage change in quantity demanded exceeds or is greater than the percentage change in price. Here, we would say that the demand is price elastic. It is quite sensitive to changes in price, but not infinitely sensitive. Demand is not perfectly elastic, it is just price elastic. Now, what about the situation where the absolute value of price elasticity of demand is equal to 1? This happens when basically the percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to the percentage change in price. So when you divide both percentages by each other, they equal to 1. In that case, the demand curve is a rectangular hyperbola. I hate that word, and I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But the demand curve looks like this. It's a rectangular hyperbola. Economists would say that this um, product has unit elastic demand, and the per price elasticity of demand would equal to 1. It's very important to emphasize that just because a demand curve is a straight line, it doesn't mean that the elasticity would be the same on each point of the curve. In fact, generally, on a straight line demand curve, um, at higher prices, you would normally have 
price elastic demand, the elasticity would be greater than 1, and at really low prices you would have price inelastic demand, the elasticity would be less than 1, and somewhere in the center of the curve you would have unit elastic demand. And it makes sense. Generally, at higher prices, consumers would be more sensitive to changes in price because if the product is already expensive, any increase or decrease in price, consumers would be more sensitive to it than if the product is actually really cheap. At low prices, consumers are less sensitive to changes in price. So, to sum up, here are the five um, categories um, of price elasticity of demand. Demand can be perfectly inelastic. In that case, the value of elasticity would equal to zero, and the demand curve would be a straight vertical line. The quantity demanded will be fixed. Demand can also be price inelastic. In that case, the value of elasticity would be between zero and one. So it'd be less than one, but great, greater than zero. And the demand curve would be relatively steep, as you see in this diagram. Demand can also be unit elastic, where the value of elasticity is equal to one, and the curve would look like a rectangular hyper hyperbola. Again, I hate that word. Uh, demand can also be price elastic, where the mathematical value is greater than 1 but less than infinity. In that case, the demand curve would be relatively flat but not quite horizontal. And the last case is a case of perfectly elastic demand, where the value of elasticity is equal to um, infinity. And in that case, the demand curve is a horizontal um, demand curve.